All right, I'm looking at weekly squirtle number 10. So the last couple of weeks I've been doing some challenges for the starting words and I've got another challenge today. So someone challenged me to start with five words that have no vowels other than a Y and it could be argued that a W is a value sometimes, but basically no A, E, I, O, or U for the first five words. So, and uh, someone in the responses to that comment was helpful enough to give a list of some of those words so we're gonna go with some of those today so I think I'm gonna start with hymns okay not great <laughs> um, and then Pruth, which is uh, like a, a Welsh instrument I think kind of like a guitar or a, ooh, that was really bad all right um, and then glyph is my third one and then I'm gonna see what we've got before I do the fourth and fifth one so and there's no C, there's no M, there's no G, no W, no H, no P. All right. Well, we're, we're eliminating lots of letters. I guess that's good. And we know we have a Y, but it's not in the first row, first, or it's not in the first three rows or the first three columns. So it has to be somewhere down here, which in some ways, I kind of want to use a word with a Y now. So, but we have to use words with with Y's or no, no vowel. So, mm. so, what should we use? Um, I definitely want to use for the last row and column a word that ends in a Y. For this one, it might be better to use a word with a Y in the fourth position, just because if we do a Y there and a Y down here then we'll know where the Y is in the grid for sure. Uh, the only one I know that has a Y in the fourth position is Zillil, which is not great, <laughs> not great at all. Um, now, there's a T in the fourth row, and there's an N in the fourth, or there's an N in the fourth row and a T in the fourth column. So can we do one with an N and a T? That might be good. Uh, Synth. Synth would work. I like that just because it lets us check another spot for an N and another spot for the T. We haven't done S yet. Now the H isn't good because we know there's no H, but at least it's something. Let's go with that. Okay, so we got the N. Good, good. And we ruled out another spot for the T. And we already know there's no H, so let's do this. Uh, now, so there's no Y. So there has to be Y at the end here. This is now a for sure Y. Because there's no Y in the first, second, third, or first, second, third, or fourth row. And there's no Y in the first, second, third, or fourth column. That's the only place the Y can be. So this is a Y. We don't know really anything else about this row and column. There's no S. I guess that's something. All right, I think I'm gonna go with dryly for this last one because we haven't guessed a D yet. There's, I mean, this isn't an R, that's not a Y, but there's just not a lot of options. Let's just go with dryly. Okay. That's, ooh, now that's interesting. Look at the R, Y, and, well, but the Y is pointing down here. But there is an R and an L in this column. And the R, oh, they, we know the R is in a second. Okay, so the R could be at the, the L could be a lot of places, yeah. Okay. All right, there's an L and a T in this, all right, so now, We've got to really, we've got to really do some good work here because we've only got three guesses left. Now we do have five greens. We obviously need to start guessing some words with vowels. Um, you know, my instinct would be to do something like a do or audio, you know, with lots of vowels, but there's no D for one thing. I don't know, because all the vowels aren't going to be in that first row or the first column. So. We only have the one Y, so clearly there's gonna be lots of other vowels in the grid, so knowing there's lots of vowels in the grid isn't really gonna help us that much, is my thinking. There is, so this S is pointing there, yeah, so we already know that. So we know nothing about this first row and column, essentially. So we can do just about anything. No N, no S. We could do about, that's not too bad. It's four new letters, and we haven't done it. Well, we haven't located a T yet. Sure. 
Okay. Well, oh, we got a B. Wow, that was huge. Okay. So the the T in the fourth column here is not in the first position. It's not second. It's not fourth. Could be fifth. This could be the T. TY would work well. Otherwise, it has to be third there. But there's a yellow T here. So we've got an R and a T. The R is not going to be... So the R is not second. The R is not going to be after the N. NR. And SR doesn't seem very good either. So actually, now I'm thinking this is probably the R, which would put a T right there. It's also possible. Now we got the S. There's an O. And the O... Oh, the O could be first. Because there's a yellow O and a red O. Otherwise, it would have to be SO. But... So this could be something like obese. And... Maybe elate. Oh, there's no U. That's good. Just add to our... our we got a lot of black letters this week. Uh, B something L. That seems good. So this is obviously going to be a vowel. Um, this could be like below, maybe? No, there's no W. Hmm. Uh, there's an R over here. R there would be good. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. Could be lots of things. So, I think this could be a few things. I think, I wonder if this could be an L. There is an L in the column, and this could be like bells, or balls, or it can't be belly. It would have to be an S over here, I think, though. And that's, that's not as good. So maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, there's no S at the end here. So there's no S over here at all. Okay. Oh, but what about... What about bell with an E? And this would be... Weary? No, Weary has an A. Hmm. Well, one of these E's could be... I mean, this this might not be an E. I had Elate here, but we don't, we don't know that that's Elate. I like bell. Now, there's no B here. Alright, I'm just gonna go with... Oh, you know what we could do? Okay, I was about to just do bell, but heal. Now, I know we don't have a P, but this also lets me check. I mean, we already know there's a B here and not a B there, so the B doesn't help us. And the A will let us check if there's an A in this word and this column. So let's go with peel. That's not a word. Okay. Never mind. We'll go with bell. Oh, it was bell. Good, so we got a bonus guess. So we're, we're still sitting at two. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think this is... Oh, we have the... Oh, right, Leary, 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 which is what this would be then with the... Is the L... Yeah, okay, Leary and Elate. I like that. Uh, this is... What's going to be this? O and L. Something like... Oriel? No, there's no R here. I don't know. Alright, so we're on the third one. Maybe I'll just go with Elate. And... I mean, we don't know what this one is, but... Uh, it could be... Hmm, not bland, not gland. I like... Oh, there's no D, so it can't be a D. It could be a T. T. Not plant. Uh, what would this be? I'm not sure what that would be. It can't be slant, it can't be plant, so maybe it's not that. There is a T somewhere. T, T. Oh, the T has to be. Oh, the T, the T, that's not necessarily a T. This could be the T. Then that would have to be an R. I think that's the R, so this has to be the T then. Because there's yellow tea here, and that can't be because of the white, so... Alright, well, I'm just going to go with Elate. That'll also um, help us with the tea, potentially. Oh, it's... Oh, it's Elite! Oh! Shoot. It's Elite. Okay. And this is going to be... Lint. Okay, so we're on the fourth. We've got to get one right here. Because we've only got one guess left. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Leary. We know this is a for sure L up here. 
We know that now, and this is a for sure R. So Leary is locked in, no question. Now we need to have a T at the top or the bottom here. This red T makes me think that this T is right. We need to have a, yeah, yeah, this has gotta be a T, cause you're not gonna put T, L, and obviously this can't be a T in the middle. That's, that's gonna be Flint. I'm pretty sure the F is the only ishy, iffy thing there. Now this one could be like Alter. There is an A in that first row. Alter, this would be, hmm, no, no, no. Uh, the different kind of Alter with an A. And then this could be Sonar. And Entry, and Felon, and Awful. Okay, this is what I think they are now. At this point, I have one guess left, so I have to get green a green word every time just to get my bonus guess back so that I don't lose guesses. Now, at some point, I can start to get, uh, if these are right, I'll start to get more than one bonus guess with each guess, but I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Sonar. <sighs> yes. I think it's gonna be right. Okay, Sonar. If I had thought of uh, Elite instead of Elate, I might have had that figured out too, but um, I think it's gotta be... I think this has all gotta be correct now. So we know there's a T... There's, yeah, the E, this is a for sure E, because of the orange and yellow there, yeah, so. Entry, um, now what do we have? Yeah, we've gotta do, yeah, we'll just do the, the rows. Entry, good. Awful, nice. And look at that, we got a whole bunch of bonus guesses, so all of a sudden it looks like we're doing just fine. And then Elite, and this should do it. That finished the grid, wow, okay. Interesting, very interesting. So, very tricky, not starting with any vowels, and some interesting words in there too. So, awful is probably the one that people would be the least familiar with. It's some sort of food, I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of food, definition on the screen there. Uh, leery, if you're leery, you're kind of unsure or wary of a situation, and alter is uh, the, like, the thing where you make sacrifices on, um, or it's like, like a table in the front of a church, it's typically how it's used now. Uh, flint, flint, you strike flint to make a spark, um, probably know the rest of those, so, yeah, there we go. So that was the weekly squirtle for this week, so, very tricky. Um, let me know how you did with this weekly squirtle, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Okay, so we got a bunch of reds with house, and now we got a bunch of yellows with flyer. I don't think, I don't think thonk is a word, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be wheel, let's guess wheel. Oh, it was a wheel. So close. All right.